Good morning guys. So it's been a long time since I've made a vlog and I'm so sorry I've just got so much going on but in today's video I'm going to explain to you what's been going on, why I haven't been making videos. Um, yeah there's been a lot going on in the past um, couple of weeks basically and in this video I'll just explain to you um, because I feel I felt so bad like not making frequent videos the past two weeks like the last time I, I uploaded was like over a week ago again I'm so sorry I uploaded the last video last like Monday and I was like okay I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in ages I'm gonna make more frequent videos but then some other shit happened where I'm stressed again and just so anxious and I hate I just haven't been in the mood to like film or talk to a camera but yeah it's um, Sunday and I've just woken up, um, I've got my lemon and ginger tea, I've done my oil pulling with coconut oil so I'm just gonna um, get my breakfast in a bit and then I'll talk you through what's gonna, what's been going on and what I'll be doing today. breakfast I'm having some pineapple I just chopped up the other day and yeah it needs to be eaten so I'm gonna have a bowl of that and then I've made some lovely I'm like obsessed with this oats combo at the minute it's I call it I called it my Christmas oats because I made it first around Christmas time but I don't know I'm still not over it so it's basically oats with cinnamon turmeric um, ginger apple and raisins we saw anyway um you're gonna have seen the clip before but yeah it's really nice and just the mixture of spices it makes it taste like christmas for some reason to me and then i've got my more lemon and ginger tea so yeah before i eat this um i might as well just kind of start chatting to you because it's a busy morning so i don't think i'm gonna have much time um, to talk after I've had my breakfast because I have to go somewhere. Um, let me see, can I set you down anywhere? Where could I set you that isn't annoying? There? Oh. Okay, sorry, you're just going to have to have that angle. Um, but yeah. Hmm. I'll talk to you while I eat my pineapple. This really isn't a flattering angle, but oh well. Okay, so basically there's been a lot going on. If you watched, I'll turn around so it's a bit less weird. So basically if you watched my last video, um, you would have um, known that I had something going on um, the past couple of weeks um, with a big announcement that I'm supposed to be making soon. And there's just been a lot of things to sort out for the thing that I'm going to be announcing or I hope I'm going to be announcing pretty soon um, again if you're one of my friends in real life then I've probably already told you what's going on um, so you already know what I'm talking about but I've had to do a lot of preparation and a lot of travelling around the country I've been to Dublin three times in the space of two weeks and from where I live Dublin is a two hour train journey plus an hour bus journey um, so it's been pretty intense um, and stressful having to keep on travelling up and down up and down like a yo-yo um, the past two weeks so I've got that stress me and just so much paperwork I don't know if any of you are able to guess what I'm going to what I've got going on um, basically the only thing I can tell you now without revealing it is I'm um, keep on having to go around the country to get paperwork and get documents signed and documents sent off and then go in to collect them in person because they can't be posted and um, so it involves me every day I have off work which is only Mondays well Monday and Sunday but um, like nowhere's open in Dublin on Sunday so it means that every Monday I have off work it's 
not really a day to myself. I have to be up even earlier than for work. I've been getting up at half five the past three Monday mornings in a row um, to go to Dublin. And it's just, it's just crazy. Like, it's just exhausting me because at the same time, it's really, like, the thing that I've got planned is really exciting and, like, I'm so, I'm so psyched just to get it over and done with and get it all sorted so that I can just, like, officially, like, know that it's going to happen for myself and, yeah, just put my mind at ease and, yeah, but I don't know, it's just completely messed me up because I'm not used to this at all. I'm not used to this amount of stress. I'm usually a really, really calm person, laid back about everything. Anything that happens in life that someone would usually stress about, I'm kind of just like, it's okay, Zen, just let it be. But yeah, this is completely different for some reason. It's just stressed me out so much. Like, it's probably because it's something that I have to do completely by myself and so much responsibility like no one can help me with it none of my friends or family have done this thing that I'm planning to do so I can't really talk to anyone about it no one knows um there's no one I can really go to for advice about getting all these documents done like I'm having to keep on going back to and from Dublin um like I go by myself because I think it's just easier that way like I don't want someone else kind of like trailing along and um, kind of like holding me back because I'm so stressed the whole time I'm there I'm just like a yo-yo like zooming from one place to another um, so it's very stressful but anyway enough about that I'm just rambling on it's not really a sit down and talk video from Shannon if I don't sit there and ramble about the same thing for like 20 minutes Mm. This pineapple is so good. And then, oh yeah, then another big thing. So I was like stressed enough already with this thing going on, like dealing with it all by myself and I'm not making this video for you to feel sorry for me. Yes, I'm an adult, I'm 21 years old, I'm more than capable of sorting out my life and um, should be able to sort out things by myself without other people's help. I do it all the time. I am very independent compared to a lot of people I know. Um so yeah. I'm not making this video for like sympathy and being like, oh poor you, you're stressed. No, I know that a lot of other people have bigger things, bigger issues going on in their life. Um and this is kind of like an extra like privilege a privilege problem to have kind of thing. So I'm not complaining, like I'm not really complaining. I know that I don't have it that bad, but at the same time, it's just it's just kind of thrown my life up in the air a bit, and I can't wait until everything's sorted so I can feel myself again. So the second thing that happened, basically, like I found out about um, the thing I'm going to be announcing, and I had a week of stress with that. Like, trying to get stuff sorted, the excitement, the, oh my god, what am I going to do? Uh, how do I do this? Well, oh my god, I have to go here, I have to go there. I have to send this off. Oh my god. So, like, uh. And then, at the end of that week, that weekend, um, we found out that we have to move house. Um, so, yeah, that's another big, like, what the frig um, thing. Because we've lived in this house for almost 11 years, the same house. Before we lived here, we lived in England. So... Yeah, we've lived in this house for almost 11 years, um, so it's pretty much part of our childhood. I lived in England for 10 years of my life, and now I've lived here for over 10 years of my life as well. So, um, apart from uni, but yeah, this house is um, pretty much our childhood as well. Um, so it's come as a big shock to our whole family that we have to move out of this house, and it's basically because our landlord, because... Um, we did we never bought this house, we're always renting for like yeah, I know renting for like eleven years. But um people do that because there's no point being in the house um whenever the the market is just not good for buying houses, so 
basically our landlord came and knocked on our door the other, I think it was like Saturday night, and he basically just said to my dad that, oh, um, yeah, I want to sell this house now, um, and I've got, he pretty much said that he's got people that's already willing to buy it and they want to start work on it as soon as possible, um, so he wants us out as soon as we can, as soon as possible, in the next uh, few weeks, so we were just like, okay. Now obviously legally you have to give a month's notice but you know if we know we're going to have to move then we might as well just start looking for places as soon as possible. So rewind a few days and we have found a house and it's in a village that is close to here because obviously I work in this village and my dad works nearby as well and uh, my brother goes to football training here so there's a lot kind of keeping us tied to this village so we didn't want somewhere that's really far away. But we have now um, found another house to rent, we've paid the deposit on it and everything, so um, yeah. Over the next couple of days we are going to be uh, moving our stuff in there and sorting things out. And that's where I'm going today actually, me and my mum um, are going to have spend the Sunday cleaning the new house because we're hoping to move into it um, by Friday, so that's like five days to move all of our stuff all of our furniture, like we have all our own furniture, beds, wardrobes, tables, sofas, all of our furniture out of this house into the other house, so in a week. Um, so that's quite stressful as well. Um, so yeah, it's just been a very stressful couple of weeks <clears throat> for me, and not just for me, but my whole family as well. And that's why I haven't been making videos, basically. It's just too much going on in my head. My, I'm just overwhelmed with everything. And I know I've said it, but I'll say it again, I know this isn't the worst problem to have. I know there's people that are homeless, there's children and human beings that are dying out there that don't have anything. So I'm lucky to be in the situation um, at all, so. What time is it? Mm, 10 to 1. Yeah, my mum said. I'm going to leave at half one to go down to the new house and start cleaning it. Um, so yeah, I've been starting packing up my room. I'm not going to show you the floor because it's an absolute mess. Like I've got suitcases and boxes and just shit lying everywhere because I'm trying to like clean out my room as well. I'm um, just everything up for the move and yeah. Everything's just going to be up in the air for the past few days. For the next few days, I mean. So yeah, that's what's been going on. And I'm going to finish eating my pineapple and eat my porridge. And I'll get back to you later on. I'll probably take you to the new house um, so you can have a quick look around it. So I'll talk to you in a bit. scene is the garden in the new house and I tried to film the rest of it but as soon as I had finished um, doing a little clip of the garden my camera re went really weird in that house. Um, I turned it on and it was all like really really blurry, it was quite creepy actually. Maybe the house is haunted, I don't know. Um, every room I went into um, it was just it wouldn't focus, it was really weird so I just left it but basically what time is it now? It is half four, we were there cleaning for about two hours um, I had the task of cleaning the bathroom and me and my sister's room um, yeah me and my sister have to share a room now because it's a small house and there's only three bedrooms so we will be sharing uh, for a bit until I move out um, soon but yeah oh, I'm exhausted, got home, put my nice fluffy pyjamas on and my hair, I'm an absolute mess, like my hair is greasy, I need to wash it tonight. Hold on. So yeah, I've just got in and um, my dinner is on downstairs. I'm making rice and like a spicy bean mix and I'll probably put some kind of greens in there with it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get my laptop out and find something to watch. I've had a pretty social media free day today because I didn't take my phone or anything down to the house because 
was like, there's no point because we don't have internet in there yet. So, yeah, you'll get to see the new house in another vlog next week. We're moving in there on Friday, as I've already said. So, I'll give you a little house tour. Or maybe not, because it's kind of a shit house. It's so tiny and, like, ugh. To be honest, like, I don't really like it. I don't think anyone really likes it. My mum and my dad, they're okay about it. This is just kind of like an emergency, like, last minute kind of house. I don't know if we're going to stay there long term. I know that my brother and sister don't really like it. Um, and the fact that me and my sister have to share a room is going to be quite weird because we haven't shared a room since we were little, so it's going to take some getting used to. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I'm just going to have to adapt for a while. And I'm saying for a while because I might have other plans. So yeah, find something to watch. And I better get downstairs now before my rice boils over again. Um, I'll speak to you in a minute. So for my second meal, I have this lovely bowl of rice. And I actually found some coconut milk in the um, fridge from the other day. So this is why the rice looks super creamy and super white. Like, mm, so good. So much more filling, um, extra fats, and then... Lovely spicy bean. Um, it's just out of like a tin from Tesco's. It looked really nice though. Just mixed beans and a spicy tomato sauce and some kale. So I'm just gonna sit and relax and have this. Um, I still haven't decided what I'm going to watch. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And I've also got this lovely bowl of half a big orange and some red grapes. And it feels so good to be eating healthy again. Um, the past like couple of weeks, I've been eating like shit. Like, <clears throat> I might as well just be completely honest. Like yesterday, I had breakfast and I had such stuff good. I had like a slice of peanut butter and banana on toast, and then I had my um, what was it? I think it was the same. Yeah, the same porridge as I had this morning. The apple um, and raisin and spices one. I had that, and then I got all stressed and. I don't know, I just, for lunch, we went into town and I found like, um, these like crisps, these like twiglet things I hadn't had in ages, I was like, oh buy these, because uh, they're like 50p in Tesco, this big box of them, and then, I don't know, I was just really like stressed and like hungry and I was like, fuck it, and I went and bought these um, chocolate mint poppets and this bag of like, toffee thing it's like it's kind of like honeycomb but it's called cinder toffee but it's like the texture of honeycomb so I had that and I basically just ate shit and watched a movie and that's what I had all day because after I ate that I was like oh my god I feel so bad because I've eaten shit so I had breakfast and had crisps and sweets and chocolate and then that's what I had all day so <laughs> it's not very healthy but yeah I think that I've figured out that the thing that absolutely just throws me off is stress and it affects my eating as well like for ages like eating like my eating has been so good and never feel stressed never feel guilty never feel worried about what I eat I eat what I want when I want how much of whatever I want and I just everything's good and I'm always happy but now that I just had a really stressful couple of weeks it's I've started having these like guilty feelings around food again and it's like because there's so much in my life right now that I can't control that I think I've been thinking about it and it's probably because I want something to latch on to and control and I'm um, like my mind's trying to do that through food but I'm not going to let that happen again. There's no way I'm letting that happen again because like I've got to a really good stage in my life where I'm like mentally stable, mentally like I'm happy and yeah, I just don't want things like that to happen again, um, because that was probably like the worst time in my life ever, the worst couple of years was whenever I was like always like restricting like my food and like being so stressed and so like uptight about what I was eating, like it was just really not a fun time and I don't want to be back there ever again, I'd rather be fat and enjoy my food than be back in that state, so yeah I'm just gonna sit here. I found a good movie, actually. I'm like a quarter of the way through it. It's called Good Kids on Netflix. So I'm going to finish watching that, eat my little fruit salad, and then I think I'll take a bath. So 
just to de-stress even more and relax even more. And I'll check back in with you later. Okay, so, yes, I ate the rest of the box of <laughs> uh, mint chocolate sweet things. Ugh, such a mess. Um, yeah, now I feel bloated and puffy and disgusting, but that's life. Um, I'm a mess right now, so I'm really sorry. I need to apologise for this video because I wanted to make a video just for the sake of making a video to say that I'm a mess and please wait for me to gather my life and be normal again. I don't, God knows when that'll be, like, I'm hoping I'm gonna get myself together soon and I know that I keep on saying, oh, hopefully I'll be okay soon, hopefully everything will be back to normal, but I know that I just need to get my shit together. The only person that can get my shit together is myself, so, yeah. Yeah. Working on it. Working on getting my shit together. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna go and have a bath now and do something and with this greasy hair wash it obviously um, because tomorrow I have more stuffs to do I have to go to the solicitors um, so that's gonna be fun I uh, have to find a load of like actually I need to hunt out a utility boo boo what I can't even speak like shut up I'm just gonna go now and um, yeah Thanks for watching this video, um, it's a really like rubbish video and yeah, I promise that my content will get better soon, I need to get back to normal of posting vlogs and yeah I will be doing some more vlogs soon whenever I get into my new house and whenever I get just my routine back, I'm just a mess, look at even my nails, this, my nails just tell the story of my life right now, just what even is that? But yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm sorry for this video. If you've watched it, then thanks, but...